step four, let's go over all of these options they can find behind. Push all. There we go. So first option you see is match Figma text to existing translations and localize. This is an excellent option uh, if you're connecting to an ongoing project and if your uh, design wording equals the wording found in localize, then localize uh, will simply match it and create that mapping and link between them. Uh, so it's very simple to use if your wordings um, match in your design in localize. Uh, create missing keys in, in localize. So if you have a new feature, you've designed uh, new functionalities, new buttons, new keys that, that need to be uh, developed by the developers, well, you can actually create those keys straight from your design. Uh, second one is actually linked to the first one. So while you're creating, creating missing keys in localize, what you can also do is make sure that you only create one localized key for keys that have the exact same wording in your design. So let's say uh, several times sign up or confirm or okay, some generic uh, type of, of buttons, then uh, maybe I do not need several uh, different translation cycles and we're, the developers might be happy with using only one key identifier um, for everywhere where sign up is showing up or log in. Um, this is something you should communicate with your developer. Uh, a use case where you'd want to skip this, for example, is even if in English you have this exact same uh, wording, maybe in French or another target language uh, due to the context change, maybe the wordings will be different. So it's something to consider down the line and try to align with your localization stakeholders on your best pr practices for this. Uh, in my use case, I'll just link all the duplicate keys into one localized key. Then we have the option to tag. So tagging is a custom value inside localized that you can assign on a key level uh, just makes life easier for filtering purposes and uh, managing the keys inside your localized project. I'll just create a custom one here. So design created tag, for example. Now we can go to the next one. So update localized translations with modified text from Figma. So let's say you've changed some uh, a wording in your design and your your design is the source of truth. You wish to update this in localize, you should have this ticked on. Finally, update screenshots, update or generate, create screenshots, uh, really. So if you, this is your added value as a designer in the localization process, uh, you're pushing visual context to your translators, um, therefore naturally increasing the translation uh, quality, reducing uh, back and forth with questions, reducing LQA issues. So small small option, easy to do, uh, huge added value. Finally, we have pu uh, push hidden elements. So hidden elements, for example, are any text values that are not directly reflected in the product. So in my case, I'd have sign up page mobile and login page mobile here. Um, if I wish to have, this, to have this translated to offer some additional context when I'm sharing the design with a local marketing team, um, I can do so. So I would then select push it in elements right here. Finally, we have the custom translation statuses. So because I uh, enabled this in my project settings, I have the options to uh, trigger custom translation statuses from the design plugin. And from here, so apply custom translation status to inserted translations, uh, basically created from Figma. That's the one I created for this purpose. And the second one, uh, is similar, but it's only for updated translations. So let's say I have changed the wording uh, in my design. I'm pushing this into localize. I'd like to inform my localization stakeholders where were those changes uh, made from, by whom, in case they need to follow up. And they can also filter then in the project by these custom transla translation statuses. So it makes life easier for everybody. At this stage, We'll press proceed. So everything went well, and I have 30 keys in my design that have been uh, linked 
to a localized key in the project. I have only uh, 24 created keys in, um, in localized because then I have duplicates in my design and I enabled to uh, just create one localized key for duplicate values in my design. And I have four screenshots updated. So everything went well. And we'll continue explaining the plugin in step five.